Good morning, otters. Today is Tuesday, March 3rd. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the IB Pledge. Today I pledge to do my best for myself and my school. I will listen and learn, I will contribute and work hard, and I will always treat others with respect. It is Turn the Page Tuesday, and we are going to showcase the book, The One Stop Story Shop. Once there was a fearless knight who couldn't find a dragon to fight, but instead of hanging around for a story that stuck, he comes to the One Stop sh Story Shop. This is a thrilling adventure through the magical world of storytelling. You can check out this book in the Media Center. This week is Read Across America Week. You will be getting a game board piece for your, from your teacher. If you read five activities in a row, you can come to the Media Center for a prize. If you complete the whole game board, your picture will be added to the Reed Wall of Fame. Check out this first grade video. Don't forget that tomorrow, author and illustrator David Budrisky will be coming to our school. You will be, you will get to meet him during the, our your specials in the Red Auditorium. Get excited! Let's stay clean. Check it out. You're the hand, champion hand washer. Hi, kid. I'm here to teach you about some handy facts of life. Clean hands are happy hands. Dirty hands are sad hands. And this is a mean germ. While many surfaces look clean, you'll be surprised to find germs in places you don't expect. Like here on this desk. The doorknob. The toilet handle and even the sink faucet.
Now watch the power of a car. <coughs> it shoots germs through the air everywhere. And coughing into your hands turns them into germ carriers. <laughs> then everything you touch becomes dirty. So please, if you have to sneeze and there's not a tissue, throw an elbow to protect your hands and your friends. Remember, clean hands are happy hands. Wash them before eating and when they're dirty, such as after using the toilet or sneezing. Or when you come home from school, church, or the store. It's that easy. Now, I brought a couple of my friends, Sinky and Soapy, to help demonstrate. First, you wet your hands. Then soap up. Rub all surfaces of your hands for at least 20 seconds. Next, a good rinse. Then dry your hands with a paper towel. Henry's fourth principle is his most important. Above all, never put a finger in your eyes, nose, or mouth. Because when you plant a germ, oh. it will grow and make you sick. Now, let's see how good a champion hand washer you are with Henry's germ detection potion. Under this special light, it shows you the germs. So let's get rid of those germs by giving them a wash. First, Wet your hands. Soak them up real well. Lather and rub all the surfaces of your hands. Rinse with running water. Dry all surfaces of your hands with a paper towel. Then use the same paper towel to turn off the faucet. Check your hands under the light and great job. You are a champion hand washer. See how easy it is? Now it's your turn. Oops. There's a nasty germ outbreak at another school. Goodbye, kids. Gotta go teach the four-part trick. This looks like a job for... Super Henry! Check out the exciting math contest opportunity. Wow, math is the best. I love it too. Hey, do you know what makes math even more fun? What? what? Prizes! Yeah. yeah! But who would give us the prizes for doing math? Hmm. <laughs> hey, boys and girls! Who are you? I'm the math magician, and I'm here to tell you about our awesome I'm SC Ready contest. There are prizes for students in grades three through five who participate. What do you do to get these prizes? Well, boys and girls, all you have to do is get your SC Ready coach book and complete your lessons with 75% accuracy. Your teacher will put a tally mark on the sheet when you bring it to lunch. You can show me that your teacher has signed it, and I will give you your fantastic prizes. But what are the prizes? Well, you could get an incredible mechanical pencil, or you could get a magnificent world eraser, or you could get a super squishy, squishy. Cool! But there are many more wonderful prizes, including extra recess and icy pops with the math magician. Or if you're one of the top people in your class, you could get lunch with Dr. Owen. Or even a pizza party for the class at each grade level with the most completed lessons. Wow, thanks, math magician. You're welcome, kids. Make math. Mm, magical! Now it's time for the joke of the day. Why did Cinderella get kicked off the baseball team? I don't know. She ran away from the ball. <laughs> well, that's all for today's show. 
I'm Henry. And I'm Charlene. Have, Have a great, great day, day, otters. Now it's time for the joke of the day. Why did Cinderella, Cinderella, 